Bongiorno, Andy. Hello. How we doing, mate? You alright? Yeah, it's, I think I've um, it's like a skull cap this at the moment with the lockdown hair. I think he's got to wear the cap, captain hats for everywhere now, every occasion. The beard's absolutely massive right now. That's a quite an accomplishment you got going feel, on there. Like I mean, the only the only similarity I've got to Phil Mickelson is the little tufts of hair at the back when he wears a cap. Uh, Otherwise, there's no, there's no golf similarity. Like, <laughs> what about Newcastle here then? Two two against Spurs. Did you see that one coming, or did you did you write off any chance of a result? Well, I definitely saw a not winning coming. So yeah, so I can see <laughs> that bit coming. Um, I mean, it's, um, it's a lot of positives. I mean, at least it was, um, it was a decent game for a change, I guess. But it's another game without a win. It's two and nineteen now, so you know there's positives. But it, again, I think said after the West Brom game, it, it all depends on Fulham. I think if Fulham uh, beat Villa, something uh, a pretty close affair so far, um, nil nil as it stands, but. If they sneak that one, then it's a disastrous day to day because you're looking at the, um, you know, against the Spurs side after the international break that were there from taking, really. Just that uh, they've got Harry Kane, a world class uh, striker, to put the ball in the net. The second goal was particularly great, wasn't it? Bad defend for the first. Um, you know, they were they were poor. So, but I think you have got to try and take the positives, you know, for how poor Spurs were. Turn, there's more energy there. I think Matt Ritchie, why? The likes of Murphy and Richie, you know, I think you just got to get them in. You know, their legs on the the runner will run, they'll give their all. Um, Longstaff should be young. I mean, he's, he's had a poor season. He's, I think since his head got turned for Man United, he's been quite poor. But he's young. You just need to keep people. If you've got young and you've got le- if you're young and you've got legs in that team, you know, if you've got old man Shelby playing sweeper, haven't you? You've got to get some legs in the midfield. And you know, to be fair, they try to attack, but they failed to win, unfortunately. And I think when you look at the games to come, Man City, Leicester, um, Liverpool have had a stinking run at home. But, you know, there's still massive favourites on against us uh, at Anfield, even without fans. Um, and then you've got the form teams. You've got West West Ham to play, which on paper looks a fixture. That, I mean, you've still got to... Be, you can't look at the league position with them. You've got to think, come on, it's West Ham. You've got a chance of getting points there because there's not many games I see wins in, the, in those games and I think you're looking at Arsenal who are pretty average but we've got a stinking record against so you know and then you've got Burnley on, Burnley on to give me um, a, a turf more against anybody really you know they're going to scrap tooth and nail and they'll defend doggedly and that so I just think it's it's going to be tough isn't it you're looking at Sheffield United and Fulham um, there's games where you you want to try and take something, but that's, you know, last two games and you're going to be under so much pressure then that, you know, you could capitulate. I think Sheffield United isn't a gimme. You know, if if we're desperate for a win and they're going to be playing with the relegation freedom that they'll have, um, you know, it's just, it's sweetie bum time, isn't it? It is, because like you mentioned, it, it, it today's result depends on Fulham's result, really, doesn't it? Like, if, if Fulham get beaten today, and we're still three points clear with the game in hand, then you think, oh, well, happy days, good, good day to the office. But a Fulham win, we get in the relegation zone, and then Fulham play on Friday night against Wolves at home, very winnable game for them. We don't play it on Sunday, which is a six-pointer at Turf Moor. It, it all depends, doesn't it? That's, that's because we've got ourselves in the, this mess now that we're looking over a show that all depends on what on what Fulham do as well. It's it's ifs and Nicky butts at the moment, unfortunately. But I think, <laughs> you know, they've got, they've got two chances to get above us and... It'll create a lot of pressure, but I mean, if they play or two games in hand, but you've got to win the games in hand. And when you're not used to winning, and you've won two and nineteen, and it's another game ticked off today. When you've, especially when you've played well and haven't won, then it's you run out of games, and you it's going to be really tough to beat some of the teams we've got to play. And I think against Arsenal at home and teams like that, I, I just hope I know we haven't got a great record against them, but they're not a great side at the moment. I just hope that you know, similar to today, you know, it's trying to just trying to attack them and try and get three points, and um, you know, try and be a bit. Just don't give goals away. You know, when you go one 0 up and then suddenly you're two one down in the space of five minutes, that that's not great. I mean, it, 
you know, Bruce, um, there is a time for parking the bus and steadying yourself. And when you've just scored, you've went 1-0 up, that's probably the time to do it. You know, the first couple of minutes after scoring, you're vulnerable, aren't you? As the old cliches come out. So We definitely were that as well. So it's a bit disappointing, but um, we'll see. It's either an OK result, could be crucial like the pundits have said, or could be it could be a terrible result, you know, uh, when you need to search for wins. So we shall see very soon. But, we uh, shall indeed. Right. At, least, um, at least I'm not going to have a meltdown after the Brighton game. I think uh, I, I did watch that back and I was a bit angry, so I'm a bit chilled now. <laughs> you know, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. That was the best performance that was, Andy. Well, I was uh, rather upset as that performance, so I was less upset today, at least. Aye. Well, we'll see you next week, mate. Cheers. Hey, right, cheers, mate. See you after. See you later.